Welcome to the IPF World Championships here live in Sun City, South Africa. I can see Susan. Thank you for joining us. Today we have the 84, 84 plus kilo women. I am Ryan Lapidat. I am accompanied in the booth here today by none other than Gavin Aiden. Gavin, how are you doing? I am doing amazing today. Thank you so much for having me on. Truly, uh, it's going to be an awesome day. I'm really, really excited for this session. I couldn't agree more. It is return of the queen, Amanda Lawrence, last year's not only 84 kilo champion, but best lifter of the tournament. And as a matter of fact, Amanda Lawrence is attempting to win best lifter for the third time, which will be a record in the IPF. Gavin, do you think she can do it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, without a doubt, right? I mean, she's, she's, she's followed up every single time. She's come through every single time. There's no reason to doubt her, so let's do it. We are moments away from greatness. Always and the scariest part of this is just before it all begins. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, to kick us off, send Karina from the U.S. Virgin Islands, starting with 155 kilos for her opening squat. And you're 100% right. I went back there, and, um, I mean, you could feel... You know the energy but it's some nervous energy especially from some of these lifters when it's their very first world championships uh, but even veterans feel it absolutely absolutely but you know what as an athlete your job is to adapt and overcome and nine times out of ten that's exactly what people do now karina has previously hit 167 and a half kilos this should move well A little slow for an opener, but still looks strong. Three whites, Three whites that's all that matters. Do you think that's nerves? Do you think it's, um, what do you think that is? I think that's definitely, I, I would like to say that that's nerves, um, for sure. Especially if it, it seemed like she was completely under control, and she didn't even seem like that amped up. Yeah. Um, so for it to move that way isn't really too concerning. The real trick is going to be, we'll see how much it goes up for that second. Um, if it's less than 5 kg, then we, got, then we right. know. <laughs> you got your answer. Schreiner from Germany, 170 for her opening squat. And that's the thing with a squat. If you got good bar path, you're OK. Bar path gets a little wonky. Even lightweight feels heavy. Now that looks like an opener should. Yeah, that was perfect. It's always important too to make sure that you absolutely send the squat to the basement on the opener. Um, no, you, you really got to leave no no room for, for error, right? No room for doubt. Um, so yeah, so and that that's exactly what that was. So yeah, you squat high in your opener. Now the judges are paying attention to you from here on out. Exactly. And Marina Almeida from Brazil, 180 kilos. Almeida, been in several world championships, a veteran of the game. Talking about nerves, not likely to be overcome by the moment. Seven years powerlifting. Team Brazil, always well represented in the IPF World Championships. Smooth, very yeah. smooth. Very well done. So far, three openers, everybody on the board. Awesome. 
And here comes Nuga from Great Britain, 185 kilos. In the 84 kilo class, opening us up, Ziana from Great Britain, 187.5 kilos. There's Sabrina Moore amongst the coaching staff of Great Britain. Whenever you have two lifters, usually split the coaching staff, shake hands, made the best lady win. A beautiful squad. Yeah, we, we've actually had quite a few instances this week of that, right? Where you have multiple lifters um, from the same bed, and you know, it's kind of like how do you balance that, uh, especially in the warm-up room? But uh, it seems to be working. People, people have been figuring it out. <laughs> Danielle Philiber from Canada, 195 kilos for her opening squat, and yeah, you're 100 percent right. Look, you're both on the same team in one sense, but on the other sense. How do you put in placeholders for you know deadlift and change it when you know you're doing that for both teams? You can't play chess against yourself. Exactly. You can't have two boxers going against each other and you're cornering both of them, running from corner to corner. Oftentimes, you split duties with another person in the coaching staff and say, may the best lifter win. Kristen Forhorst Dottier, Iceland, 212.5. And she is a podium favorite. So is Philibert from Canada. Iceland, obviously, a nation with a history in strength sports. Bar path was amazing. This is stated in one line. <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> straight up, straight down, bar path. Knees tracking over the feet, chest up. Elbows down, doesn't really get pitched forward and bullied by the weights. Now, have you heard of this young lady, Gavin? Uh, only a couple times, maybe in passing. Uh... <laughs> the queen returns to defend her crown and possibly make history. 225 kilos. She just looks so confident and comfortable every time. You know, the, the biggest threat to her best lifter ambitions was probably Leah Bavois, who unfortunately missed weight and did not compete. Easy money. However, there are some other stars that did appear, like Turbo Tiff in the 47s, Jessica Bittner in the 76s, and of course, Agata Shitko from Poland. And that's a picture perfect squat, sir. Yeah, depending on how much she would need to secure the best lifter, 
I don't even know if that's even worth it for her to go for because I know a lot of these top athletes are looking forward to the Sheffield, right? And there is absolutely no need to overextend themselves here if they don't need to when it's really the Sheffield that counts. Um, so, yeah, so I am curious to see if that's something that she's even you know, worried about. Only time will tell. 162.5 being loaded for Karina of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah, if you can win without extending your world record, because Sheffield is based upon breaking the world record by the biggest margin, will win you Sheffield. To qualify for Sheffield, win the world championships, and do it having been within 95% of the world record. There is also wild cards involved. But you don't want to rely on a wild card if you could just win worlds by 95% of the world record. It's all right. Hopefully she'll be able to come back and smash that on a third if she decides to take that. And just to ex expand on Sheffield, SBD, which is a sponsor of the IPF, is holding the biggest money meet in the sport in Sheffield, March 2023. All of the world champions who are within 95% of the world record will get an automatic invite. 40,000 British pounds is up for grabs, potentially by the winner. If they're breaking world records, you get paid for world record payouts. That equates to roughly close to 50,000 US. And 177.5 by Schreiner. Yeah, perfect squad. Yeah, I'm really excited for the Sheffield, man. Um, obviously, it would have been awesome to be a competitor at the event, uh, but even so, it's going to be awesome just to spectate the event. I mean, it's going to be truly a remarkable show, um, and uh, and it's a long time coming. It's a long time coming. It, it is a long time coming. Tickets are expected to sell out very, very quickly when they do go on sale, and in uh, and the broadcast and everything, I'm sure it's going to be top notch, pulling all stops for that one. Marina Almeida of Brazil, 190 kilos for a second attempt, 10 kilo jump. What do you think about that 10 kilo jump? It, it's it's risky, but man, it's highway to the danger zone. You know what I'm saying? It, this, <laughs> is, this is what we're here for. You know what? Considering that's just two and a half kilos below her personal best, moved pretty good. That was that was great. Honestly, that was a great second attempt. Yeah. Right and ready. The situation with Amanda Lawrence is going to be completely different in, than in the 84 pluses where Bonica Brown is facing opposition and may need to push her herself to get the win. The first. Tammy of Great Britain, 192.5 for her second squat. Come on. Tammy has hit 190 previously. This is a personal best. Wow. Let's see what, let's see what the judges say. Nice. Man, dude, that, you know how hard it is to walk out a squad and then talk? <laughs> and she's, she's hyping me up, <laughs> and she's the one lifting. <laughs> 197.5 kilos being loaded for Azariah of Great Britain. 197.5 kilos, Azariah of Great Britain.
202.5 kilos for Danielle Philibert of Canada. Seven and a half kilo jump. You know, that's something I kind of want to try, where when you squat, you have your thumb off, right? Because normally you grip the bar regularly, right? Right. And I, I want to try it because, you know, silver medalist Lugo in the 120s, he does that as well. I and do. it, and it works for I him. Squat. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Wow. All right, so I guess that, that, that's the way then. That's the it, move. Uh, it allows you just to get your elbows a little down if, if shoulder mobility is an issue. Or Lats a little tighter as well or not really? Yeah, uh, it can be. It depends on the person. But, yeah, if you can gotcha. get your shoulders down, squeeze the lats a little more. And... Thor holds Dautier from Iceland, 222.5 kilos for her. 10 kilo jump in a personal best in the second round of squatting with one round to go. I mean, it's I'm I'm still impressed by the bar pad because if that bar shifts forward just a little, like you can see it, right? It's tough. If that bar shifts forward even just a little bit, immediately your hips shoot out right. and you lose it, right? But the fact that she's able to maintain that brace, maintain that tension during the squat is very impressive. Technically speaking, all these ladies have been on point, but sometimes the weight can bully you around. Someone who rarely gets bullied by the weights, reigning 84 kilo queen, reigning. Powerlifting queen Amanda Lawrence, only 25 years old, and chasing history here to become the first to win three Best Lifter awards at an IPF World Championships. Carving out a legacy, 235 kilos, 10 kilo jump. We're expecting this to move well. Gavin. I mean, it kind of looked like it was a little bit easier than her opener, so uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm feeling a little sad. I'm feeling a little frustrated with myself right now. <laughs> uh, now the world record in squat, obviously owned by Amanda Lawrence, is 243.5 kilos. Uh, wondering what Amanda's going to put in for a third. Not anticipating she's going to break her own record, but she might. You get money payouts in Sheffield for individual records you break as well as the total record. It'd be a gutsy move. Would be a gutsy move. <laughs> a confident move, and she obviously does not lack confidence. 162.5 kilos being loaded for Karina of U.S. Virgin Islands. Ooh. Fight, fight, oh. fight. Oh. Coming too much on a day. She's lucky she bought herself some insurance with that 155 opener. And Amanda Lawrence, 142.5, going right up to the record. But if you're going to make a, an incremental jump up, it would have been the record. She said, I'm going to go as close to the record as possible without breaking it. Yeah, I, and I also think that might be the smarter move again, especially because she knows she's a contender in the Sheffield. And um, yeah, it's it's better to save it for them than to display it here. Schreiner of Germany, 182.5 for her third and final squat. And we're moving at a pretty good pace. There's only eight ladies in the 84 kilo class. Very strong finish. 
Brazil. Yes, we done. Three attempts remain to change openers for flight two. Three attempts to change openers bar is loaded. Marina, Marina, Marina Almeida, Almeida of Brazil. Brazil. 195 for her third and final squat. 10 kilo jump from her opener, five kilos from there. And we are in personal best territory. She give a little kiss to the ball there. I think so, I think so. That's <laughs> that's the good luck charm. Now you could try to charm the weight. Gravity's Sometimes the weight just leaves you on red, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's right, <laughs> yeah, gravity's not always impressed. Let's see what happens. Well for loaders, well for no lift for Almeida at that weight. 195 on the bar now, Teddy Tope, Luda, Great Britain. Two attempts to make to change openers, Azariah and Dilly Bear to follow. And 195 kilos will stay on the bar for Tammy from Great Britain. would be incredible if she gets this her second was really strong obviously a little tough um, I'm confident she can get this but it's such a small jump too and sometimes on squats you know I mean it, it's heavyweight after heavyweight it can tax you quite a bit but let's it, see it would be a personal best for Tammy I think she might have cut depth a little bit, perhaps a little unsure of herself at the bottom. Yeah, yeah that's a yeah. stitch high. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you stay silent when we talk about it. <laughs> Azariah as Azariah as from Great Britain, 202.5. Five kilo jump from her second attempt. Also a five kilo personal best if she hits it. Great Britain back to back contenders in the 84s. You can feel the full team and if you have an opening in one way class, you can send two lifters in another. No. Take a look at the slow-mo replay here. Oh, it, it was a depth call. Yeah, you think that was uh, might have been in? Or? You know, it, it's going. It's getting overturned to being good. Do you agree? Oh, wow. Yeah, I do actually agree. Okay, I do agree. You know, it's always a fine line because sometimes you realize a lifter really that is their depth. That is as deep as they they're going to go. And if it's consistent with what you were calling before, then I think you know it's a fair it's a fair call. Jeff, but Canadian head coach. With Danielle Philibert of Canada, 205 for her third. Uh -oh. It's about to say no question on depth for Danielle, but strength became a factor. I mean, she stayed really tight the entire way down. She had a lot of control all the way down. That's one thing, too, I, I found, um, whether it's nerves or it could just be the day, sometimes if it's the water cut, sometimes you, you really just don't feel like you can fight the same way you would be able to if you were in training, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and when you're nervous, you expend more energy than you think. Even just hanging out in the warm-up room, it can be exhausting by the time you get to the platform, but Thorholz Dottier from Iceland, 230 kilos for her third and final squat of the day. Not looking to catch up to Amanda Lawrence, but a strong favorite for the silver medal. Emphasize strong. Dude, dude, what a strong. Really, really strong finish. Three white lights. And she really wants to tell the contenders, you're not fighting for my silver, you're fighting for bronze. 
That's exactly right. The last thing you want to do is give them hope and start missing lifts. And we've seen in this World Championships, can't take anything for granted. In the 105s, 120s, people started merging out of nowhere. Some of the favorites got bumped right off the podium. And yeah. the number one nomination, Lugo, came in silver to the number five nomination from Algeria. Things happen. Things happen. Can't take anything for granted. But this is the world championship. This is what we're here for. That's right. And we're here for Amanda Lawrence. 242.5 on the bar for her third and final squat. Just shades below the world record. So if she's holding back, she's not holding back a lot. Makes easy work at 242.5. Well, it's safe to say that if she really wanted to, she could have beat the record. Sheffield is going to be bumped. And we're going to move into the 84 plus class. It is the return of the queen. Bonica Brown of the USA, but she will be met on the platform by returning world champion Brittany Slater, Mergier from France, as well as Leach from Sweden, all contenders. Now I just rattle off four ladies and there's only three spots on the podium and one gold medal. Do the math, we're gonna have a battle for them. Bodie of US Virgin Islands, 185 for her opener. Beltless. No wrist wraps either. Beltless and a true high bar, it looks like. That this is, is a crazy. true high bar, sir. And smooth as well. See those lights, three white lights, good lay, good lay. Two on five on the bar, that is Has she always squatted like that? You know what, I'm not, I, I believe this might be the first time I've seen her at the IPF World Championships. If I've seen her before, I can't remember if she was. Karina knocking. Isabel attempting 205 for her first squat, representing Norway. Opening up with her previous personal best. Now, is that a little bit scary for you, Gavin? I mean, it is and it isn't, right? Depends on when you set that personal best. If I set it two years ago, Ideally, this might be even this might be even uh, low for an opener. Right, she might hit this several times in training and more. Very strong, very strong. Um, I mean, every, every, everybody has their own style of squatting and everybody responds to the weight differently. That looked like it could have been a really, really clean second that could set you up for a very nice third. A uh, very strong third, but it's very possible that that's just how she lifts, and some some lifters aren't as fast under the barbell. So, um, all in all, it did look like a really good opener. Sonita of Belgium, two twelve point five for opening squat, and you're right. Um, you got people like Pena who will grind in their warm ups, and then you got other people like you know who just blow up their squats, and they're always super fast, super smooth. Right up until the wheels fall off, and all of a sudden you're like, wow, where was the grind? No, I don't grind. I blow up the squat or I fail. <laughs> no indication the end's coming. <laughs> so we need it moving up from the 84s. I remember in the 84s, she had a pretty big deadlift. Easy work. 
Three white lights. Canada's Brittany Schlater won the IPF World Championships last year in Sweden. Back to defender title, opening with 225 kilos. About as smooth as you can ask. No major difficulty there. And up next, Emily Leach, a podium favorite. A bit of a sleeper here. But you don't want to sleep on her podium aspirations. She could bump somebody off quite easily. Yeah! There's four ladies who are going to be battling for medals in only three positions. And believe me, every medal is up for grabs here. A little sticking point there, but battles through it. Yeah, I think that's just because she... She just dived down so hard, you know, and that's kind of common. I feel like in 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 the IPF in general, right? Lifters are kind of put into this position where it's like, all right, well, I know I'd rather lose a squat on strength than lose it on depth, right? And the only way to almost guarantee that in certain situations is to completely dive bomb it, you know. Emily Mergier from France has a monster bench press, opening with 150 kilos. Obviously got a big squat as well with 237.5 as her opening squat. She is a legitimate title threat. Bonica Brown has won so many titles in the IPF, but this year she faces probably the biggest opposition she's ever faced in her career. And that's why. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, we've gotten lucky, man. We've had quite a few days with quite a few battles. And um, to be honest with you, I feel like it shouldn't it shouldn't feel as rare, right? This is a world championship. This is what this is about. This is why we're here. This is why we care so much. Um, and this is what grows the sport. So I'm really excited about the fact that we've got all these battles. Team USA versus Team France also for national teams is very tight. So to finish off in the women's division is Team USA and France as the two top nominations in this weight class. Right here we have Anna Lena from Sweden, 237.5 for her as well. Oh, wow. Body and there she is, Bonica Brown of USA, 255 kilos. Bonica wants her title back. World champion and equipped, world champion and unequipped, world games champion. She's had the triple crown one of the most decorated powerlifters of our generation taking to the platform. Oh my goodness. That was beautiful. Three white lights and that was Minimal effort needed. And with an opener like that, you just know the sky's the limit on the day. You know, that was, that was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even need to have that question when you step off the platform. The coaches and like, how did that feel? How was that for you? 
put on 700 pounds. I'm yeah, done. yeah. <laughs> I'm done playing. There's a quick peek at the 84 kilo. It's 84 plus Bodie from US Virgin Islands, 192.5 for a second attempt. All the ladies are on the board. Nobody's risking bombing out in the squad event, so now they can start taking some big jumps. Now you can start getting a little bit dicey, start building your total, because like I said, even Bonica can't take her foot off the gas. She has opposition today. Super high bar right here for you, Gavin. Beautiful. Man, dude, that is, it is very difficult to squat max weight high bar. No belt, no wrist wraps. It's, it's especially, and honestly, the no belt part is even more impressive than the <laughs> fact that it's high bar. Um, anybody who knows, especially with high bar, when the weight gets really, really heavy and that chest starts to fold just a little bit, man, it feels like life or death. <laughs> the core strength on that young lady, it's impressive. Isabel from Norway, 215 kilos for a second attempt, 10 kilo jump, and 10 kilo personal best. She, she hit it. Very tight grip, close to the shoulders to get all types of tension in that back. Thumbless for you as well, Gavin. <laughs> Tell you, man, it looks like it's the new trend. It is definitely the new trend, that looked great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's take a look at the depth there on the replay. It might have been parallel. Sonita of Belgium. 225 kilos for her second attempt. Seven and a half kilo jump from her first. She moved up into 84 plus, so her previous personal best is 200 kilos. And if you're wondering now, how are we 25 kilo up from that already? That's probably from the old weight class. This isn't a crazy Hail Mary and they're in the second round of squatting. Yeah, and I'm sure it's something she's encountered before in, in training. Right. You have 60 seconds here to get the squat command. She's at 10 right now. You have to steady yourself, lock your knees, be completely upright. She gets it. Come on. Oh. Yeah. 25 kilo personal best. Yeah, that was that was very smooth. I mean, honestly, that looked really easy. She looks like she has at least maybe another 10 kg in her. Uh, yeah, I would say at least I would be comfortable loading up another 15. Here's the thing. When you move into a new weight class, you might not even, and it's the first time you're at the top end like this, you might not even know yourself when you're talking to the judge with the uh, head coaches. Oh, yeah, especially if you're moving up a weight class. Yeah. Recovery usually increases, right? Confidence with the weight increases. A lot of other variables. Brittany Schlater. Returning world champion, 232.5 kilos for a second squat. That was pretty smooth. Yeah, I mean, it literally looked exactly like her opener. Right. Yeah, she did not get pushed around by the weight at all in the bar speed as you said very quick we can't forget that i'm sure a lot of these lifters uh which it's easy to take for granted when you're a spectator a lot of the, these lifters probably have a strategy right yeah. they they know that they need to go nine for nine if they want to podium um when it's this time yeah you're not just in the gym looking for a max lift you start missing attempts they don't go towards your total and you end up off the podium or further back than you had anticipated Emily Mergier from France, 242.5 kilos for a second attempt. Five kilo jump from her opener and two and a half kilo below her personal best. Emily 
a world record breaker and serious title threat will close out the day for Team France. Would love to grab Team France 12 national team points and a gold medal. Yeah, look good. Two to one inches good, and sometimes, I don't know how it is for you, Gavin, but one hip floats a little higher than the other, and that's not uncommon for people. So one judge will say it's not depth, the judge on the other side sees their hip and they're like, well, my hip was fine. Yeah, definitely. And also, too, sometimes, man, there's so many other, like, little things that can go on, right? Like the bar just being a half inch over to the right can force you to kind of lean to that side or there's a hip shift or something. Right. So it may not even just be the fact that, you know, your hip was uh, yeah! one side is higher than the other. It could just be things like the bar placement. Emily Leach of Sweden, 245 kilos. Sweden has two ladies in this division today. Leach has been to several world championships. Looks appropriate for a second attempt. Three white lights. And Alina of Sweden, 247.5 kilos for a second attempt. 10 kilo jump, still below her personal best, which was a Swedish national record. I can only imagine the squat battles at Swedish nationals between Leach and Anna Lena. Wow. The two Swedes going toe to toe here today. Brown, USA. Up next, the greatest 84 kilo plus lifter we've ever seen. Living legend, Bonica Brown, 267.5 kilos. Famous for having been in squat battles herself. Young lady took her squat record. Bonica answered in kind and halfway up yelled out, this is my record. <laughs> she didn't need to push herself in the squats. She was gonna win on total, but she doesn't share records, my friend. Mm -mm. Savagery, that's what the sport needs. She'll hit the platform, be nice in the warm-up room, but a savage on the platform and look at this. <laughs> All business. Very strong. And we are on to the last round of squats. Quick look at the scorecard. Obviously, Bonica Brown in the lead by 20 kilo. And Elena from Sweden, followed by Emily uh, from Sweden as well. Just two and a half kilos separates them. And Emily Merger from France, followed by returning world champion Brittany Schlater to round out the top five. Last round of squats where Monique Bodie of US Virgin Islands will close out her day with 200 kilos even. Kimberly Walford, the GOAT, in the wings, helping handle. Now she's, she has time. We're at 15 seconds. You can time out. You have 60 seconds to set up and get the squat command. There it is. Great fight. And here's the thing, even when she has to fight, as you said, she never gets pushed forward by the weight, despite no belt, super high bar, yeah, and no heels, too. So that, that's tough, man. That's tough. Flat-footed. 
the core strength on that lady. Isabel from Norway. Miss 215. Coming up for 220. What do you think about missing and coming back heavier, Gavin? Not an easy thing to do, um, but this is where the will of the the will and the resolve of the lifter will shine through. So. Now, why do you think she might have done that? Because you've been in this pop position before. Uh, this is a world championship, man. You don't come here to lose. You don't come here to participate. You come here to compete, and you come here to win. Um, and whatever needs to be done to do that, well, that's what you do. Now, we're having some issues here. 15 seconds. Ten She's got 10 seconds to unrack this weight and get the squat command. Might be all for nothing, having gone up. She needs to steady herself. With one second left. I wonder if that rattled her. That looks high. Nope. That's it. That's it, baby. I think it looked high to me, though. All right, well, what do I know? That's it. Yeah, yeah, Ryan, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you do that. That's why you take the chance on yourself and you go up. With one second left, getting the squat command. That was dicey all round, having missed her second attempt. Gone up five kilo anyways. It's incredible, man. So we need it from Belgium, 232.5. Seven and a half kilo jump from her second. I mean, we kind of figured that too, right? Because we were taking a shot at maybe 10 to 15 kg jump. 7.5 kg was slightly under all that, so um, she crushed it. So that's awesome. Yeah, nice depth there. Down up, beautiful bar path. Sonita going three for three in the squat event and riding all types of positive momentum into the bench press. Now, Brittany Schlater. Also going up seven and a half kilo, 240 kilos for her third and final squat of the day. She has squatted 255 kilos, but she cut body weight. Says she feels comfortable at a lighter weight. Looks like she could have done her personal best today. So. <laughs> That's probably a tough position to be in um, as a lifter when you're in a weight class where you could potentially weigh whatever you, you want. Um, it's actually probably harder in some cases, right? Because your body weight can fluctuate so easily. And sometimes you get so caught up in, well, I just need to be the strongest. I just need to be the strongest. And you think that that gaining weight will only add to that. And sometimes that's not always ideal, right? Yeah, there's a laws of diminishing gains to a certain point. And levers that help you in squat will hinder you in things like the deadlift. And Brittany's got a big deadlift on her. Emily Mergier from France, 240 five kilos, just a two and a half kilo jump from her second. Relatively conservative. You know what? Three whites. So she did a conservative two and a half kilo jump. 
I mean, it's 2020 hindsight to say maybe put on a couple more kilos, but yeah. And Emily Leach from Sweden, 252.5 kilos. This will put her in a silver medal position. Bonica Brown, obviously, in the gold medal position. Fellow Swede, currently in silver medal with Mergier in a bronze. Could be a little shake up with this one squat. Nicely done. Three white lights. Mergier bumped off the squat podium. And Adelina from Sweden will attempt 252.5 kilos as well. Has the squat bronze already locked up. Nothing will change in terms of that, but it'll add five kilos to her total if she could get this. Gavin, I told you, Bonica Brown is that tiger. She doesn't hold back. Sheffield, or or not, she's going for the world record squat. You're gonna pay me in Sheffield for world records? That's fine. That's fine. That's the confidence she brings. This is over 600 pounds. That's insane. The queen is back. <laughs> Expect some intensity this time. Let's go. Let's see it. <laughs> the greatest lifter this class has ever seen. One of the most decorated power lifters of our generation. About to make history. Let's see. Strong unrack, and we settle. <laughs> Easy. Easy. See what the judges say, three white lights. Wow. And Bonica Brown giving a statement to the other contenders. This you, you, want, you want some? You want some? <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> She's going to hit back to the warm-up room. Long live the queen. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was incredible, especially because um, squats are one of the hardest movements to set a new world record in. Right. The, the intangibles in terms of, um, you know, depth and everything that could go wrong. But there's a look at the standings. Bonica Brown, 273.5 with the gold and a world record. Collects a chip, and that's important for the bigger picture. Put a pin in that, and we'll revisit it later on. Emily Leach from Sweden with a 252.5. And Anna Lana, also from Sweden, 252.5, taking bronze, but losing out on body weight for the tie. We're going to take a short 10-minute break. Don't go anywhere. You're going to want to come back for the bench press event where Emily Mergier has a monster bench and might collect a chip herself, breaking a world record, her own world record. Be right back in 10.
Welcome back to the IPF World Championships here live in Sun City, South Africa. It is the 50th anniversary for the IPF. And we're in the bench press event. Gavin, Amanda Lawrence in the squats went right up to the limit for the world record, opting not to try to break it, but snagging the gold medal with Four holes Dautier of Iceland with a 230 kilo squat, taking silver. And then Danielle Philibert from Canada with a 202.5, taking the bronze on body weight from Germany. Heading into the bench press event, Amanda Lawrence has a big squat, but she also has a big bench press, doesn't she? Oh, absolutely. She's a well-rounded lifter, man. You can't expect anything less. That's right. She's not necessarily a specialist, but a three lift specialist which makes her Deadly. all the more dangerous now i had said previously she's chasing history here to become the first to win three best lifter awards at 25 years old are we in the midst of a dynasty i would say so i think it's safe to say so my friend and uh you know Try to buckle in, okay? Because I have a feeling that it, that, that it doesn't stop here, all right? <laughs> no, she can ride the momentum here. This is a big message to not just the 84s, but all of the lifters at the IPF World Championships. Not only is her ambitions to win best lifter here, but then punch her ticket to Sheffield, show up, and clinch that title, secure the bag, the biggest bag in the sport of powerlifting available, a possible 40,000 British pounds translates to close to $50,000 American. That is a huge day. And it could be on the table for Amanda Lawrence. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Brings in a whole new dynamic to the sport as well. The sport is leveling up. And to kick us off in the bench press event, Karina from U.S. Virgin Islands. 87.5 for her opening bench press. That's an opener, and that's Gavin. What happened here, man, dude? That that's very Why tough. You know, no it's it's no it's tough because uh, especially at this type of meet, at this level of a meet, when an athlete starts to miss lifts, it becomes easier and easier to continue to miss lifts. Your confidence goes down. Uh, there's a lot of other variables, and so um, yeah, so that's that's not going to be tough. That's not going to be easy to come back from. But that does not mean she can't come back from it. All right, she's going to have to dig deep. True. It's not over, and we've seen this happen before where lifters have their back to the wall, come back and, and hit the lift. Just for everyone watching, you need one lift in each event to move forward, and you cannot decrease the weight. So when you miss, things become dicey. Now, Azariah from Great Britain, 87.5. She does not Good miss. Good Good lift, Azariah, 87.5. Just go over some of the rules and about the bench press event. You have three commands, unlike the other lifts. It's very technical because you have a start command, and you'll only get that when your elbows are locked, your butt's on the bench, your head's on the bench, your feet are flat. Then you get the start command, lower the bar to your chest. When it's motionless on your chest, if that takes 10 seconds, it's gonna be 10 seconds. If it takes one second, it's gonna be one second. But when it's motionless on your chest, you get the press, and only at the top, when your elbows are locked, do you get the rack command. Your butt can't come up off the bench. Your head can't come up off the bench. Your feet can't lift. They can slide. There's a lot of ways you can lose a bench press, which makes it a very volatile lift. Isn't that right, Gavin? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 95 kilos for Schreiner of Germany. Three white lights. And when you see these ladies setting up, you'll notice they have their shoulders driven into the bench press, wedge themselves under the bar. It's not just to mitigate the range of motion, but also to 
You know, if the arm is the lever, the fulcrum of the lever is the shoulder, you're trying to get the fulcrum of that lever under the touch point, which is lower down on your torso. Able to maximize the leverages, press more weight safely. It's an extremely technical lift. And Tammy from Great Britain, 102.5, her opening bench press. Have you ever missed your opening lift on any of the events, Gavin? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> my Junior Worlds experience, I missed my uh, opener on squat. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and on depth. And, uh, <laughs> and then I went on to miss my third attempt on squat from Junior Worlds uh, on depth as well. So, But the uh, important part is that you learn from it, so... Very smooth. Yeah, and, and you know what? It, it, it's, um, especially at meets like this, it also does come down to proper attempt selection, right? Because realistically speaking, there will always be a weight that you know you can crush to absolute competition standard, even if that weight is just the bar, right? And we, we all have that. So at the end of the day, proper attempt selection will set you up well for uh, a successful day later down the line. Almeida, Brazil. 105 for her opening bench and you're absolutely right when you miss that opening squat um it was a technicality not due to the weight so you know fine if if i got to go a little deeper i can if you miss a lift due to technicality you could brush up on things but if you miss it due to weight hard to get a lot stronger in the next five minutes huh very hard And a veteran like Almeida, not going to fumble the ball with a bad attempt selection. And there is other factors, um, like a weight that ordinarily you would crush in the gym after traveling several time zones, possibly 30-hour travel. Did you have to cut weight? And, oh, my goodness, you're rattled by how hard your opener was. 112.5, Thor Holes Dautier from Iceland. Thor Holes Dautier, sorry. Three whites. Yeah, bench press is also one of those lifts that's very, very difficult to grind out. You, know, you don't have a lot of power under you like you do with the squat. And so it can be very difficult to kind of go for that Hail Mary lift and just amp yourself up uh, enough, you know. Whereas in the deadlift and the squat, you might be able to do that. Yeah, the bar path in the deadlift and squat, straight up, straight down, but because the bar path is arched on the bench press, the fulcrum of the lever isn't even directly underneath the touch point. It's very difficult. 115, and Danielle handles it well. That was easy. Good luck, if we want Mike to do that, about 20 on the bar now. Amanda Lawrence, USA. Although, the Grind King Penna has figured out a way to grind out He's figured out a way to grind out walking. Right? That, that man grinds and everything, could, and I love it. He could grind out a bicep curl if he wants to. <laughs> Amanda Lawrence, 120 kilo. Bro, Amanda literally said thank you. <laughs> she had the weight over her, and he gave her a <laughs> That's That's true strength, okay? <laughs> yeah, handling herself like a lady out there. Amanda Lawrence makes easy work of her opener. And Karina of U.S. Virgin Islands retaking 87.5 kilos. Now... 
sometimes you have missed grooves, you lose a little tension on the way down, and it's hard to regain the tension mid-lift. So there are adjustments that can be made, and all is not lost. And sometimes even it's just amping your intensity and be like, okay, I got to, you know, oftentimes you don't take your opener nearly as seriously as you do your third, and that's because you need to manage the energy exerted over the course of a long day can't be as hype for your opener as your third or you'll gas out so no absolutely no. Uh, here's something else that's going to work against you so another infraction and this is for all of the lifts the bar can only go in one direction it can stall out but once you get that press command it can only go up it could stall, but not start up down. When you're squatting, there can't be up down. Yeah, that's a tough position to be in. I don't know. Do you think she'll be able to come back and hit that opener, hit that uh, hit the opening weight for a third? I obviously, like obviously, I hope she does. But do I think she does? I wouldn't bet it. it that looks like a strength issue. And Azariah from Great Britain, 82.5 for her second attempt. Very strong. Three lights. Schreiner of Germany, 100 kilos even. We're into the triple digits now. Her previous personal best in competition, 90 kilos or 10 kilos beyond that, and it's only the second attempts. Very nice. Yeah, bench is also one of the tricky movements, man, because like, at least at least in my experience, it's sometimes it just taxes you so much that if you expend too much energy on one attempt, you're really not going to have as much for that third or even for that second, right? So you almost like, in some cases, want to go for what you think would be a really, really solid attempt, right, for in terms of the scoreboard, for your second. Right, because you know that with with too close of, of, of calls, too close of attempts, it's going to tax you too much, and you just might not have the strength when otherwise you might have if you had just taken that as a second or, or even an opener. Yeah, the, the drop off on bench can come pretty quickly. You yeah. know, it's without warning. No, oh, absolutely. Tammy from Great Britain, 107.5. And you're right. You know, people think like it's because you're pressing, but with the leg drive and the intricate setup that a lot of these lifters have. You could tighten up your back and just gas out and fight. Yeah, and and uh, she seems to have a ton of range of motion there, and yet even then it still moved really, really well. So that, that, was, that was really strong. She has deadlift arms. They're going to help her in the deadlift event, but work against her in the bench. And while viewing this, you know, from that angle, you can see if the butt keeps contact with the bench. You're allowed to dance around a little bit with it, and that's going to happen. You're going to have leg drive come in, one cheek lifts, returns, the other cheek lifts, returns. It's when there's clear daylight right through. And Almeida from Brazil, 110 on the bar. Five kilo jump. This will match her personal best. Uh-oh. Very quick, bringing the bar down to her chest. Yeah, and you know what? So it's funny, and this is like a little, little thing, but you can do that. The problem is if you are a soft touch lifter where you kind of tap the t-shirt instead of letting it sink, it actually kind of works against you to go really, really fast, right? Because in order to go fast, you have to lose tension, but when you're going to tap the t-shirt, you have to have tension, right? But if you were to let that bar sink, well, that's when kind of going fast works in your favor, right? Because you know you're, you're absorbing that anyway, right? You're building momentum anyway. Um, so it definitely worked a, a little against her there, but I think she can come back strong. Thor Holes dot here. 112, or sorry, 120. 
112.5 was her first attempt. Seven and a half kilo on top of that. 115 kilos was her previous personal best, so this will exceed that. And she does it. I wish I had a Norwegian last name, man. Well, in Iceland, the last name daughter, you see Thorhol's daughter, and then son on all the men, so it's daughter and son yeah. on all their last names. But, but Thorhall? I mean, yeah. Well, bro, I, come just on. call me Thor. Yeah. Right? Obviously. Uh, I mean, I tell people that Can anyways, that? it just yeah. doesn't stick. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Philiber from Canada, 122.5. Three white lights. Amanda Lawrence, 84 kilo queen and possibly powerlifting's queen. We can't get ahead of ourselves just yet. There's a lot of work to be done. And along the way, she would love to pick up another seven and a half kilos in the bench press event. 127.5. We're just two and a half kilos below her previous personal best. So if she was holding back, well, we're getting close to personal bests. Let's see if her butt came up, though. No uh, let's no take a look at the replay here. But came up off the, the okay, bench there. It's still a strong press. I obviously, I think that, you know, I, I'm, she'll probably retake it, right? Yeah, there's no reason. Exactly. She's well in the lead. Karina, U.S. Virgin Islands, 87.5. This is 10 kilo below her previous personal best. So the reason why the coaching staff loaded something, it's 10 kilo below something she's already done in competition. And 10 kilo below on the bench press. It's quite a bit. That's probably not going to do it. And that's difficult. Now... She could still deadlift. She's just not going to have a total. Yeah. It's, look, man, it's, it's tough. It's a really hard pill to swallow. Um, and uh, I, I do not envy that position. However, take it for what it is. Learn from this because you're going to have another opportunity. You're, you have the ability to earn your way back. So learn from this. Recognize that the attempt selection just might need a little bit of improvement. Yeah, it's a, it's a lesson. It's a hard lesson, but it's a lesson. And you can grow from it. Azarea from Great Britain, 95 kilo on the bench for her, two and a half kilo above her second attempt, five kilo personal best. Compared to her previous competitions, and it looks like she's done it. Yep. Two lights. Germany's Schreiner, 102.5, two and a half kilo jump from her second. That's a fight. What a fight she's good for. Blue white lights. Almeida, Brazil, 
Brazil's Marina Almeida missed 110 kilos in her second, retaking it for her third. And this is the one that you had said it was quick on the descent, very quick. But you lose a little bit of control, so if you're going to let it sink into the chest a little bit. Okay, a lot more control that time, Gavin, but not enough. So she did make adjustments, but sometimes yeah, the weight is too much. That did look like it would have been a little bit better, but, but sometimes it's tough, man. Like especially with bench press, positioning can make all the difference, and uh, and where you choose to stack under the bar. You know, if you can have your wrist stacked over the elbow and the elbow stacked in a way that it kind of comes into the lap because of the tension that you have, you can have a strong press, but in some ways that might limit you in other areas, right? Um, whereas as we've seen in previous days, lifters with a super super close Close grip, you know, they can use a lot more muscle involved, not leverage technique as much. Um, but again, that will then limit them in, cer in certain ways. So it's uh, it's always a catch-22. But at the end of the day, man, this is powerlifting. 110 on the bar, Temi, Great Britain, two and a half kilo jump. Oh wow, that's a pretty good fight. Right. Struts off the platform happy. Can you uh, can you remind me what what is the rule where if one arm locks out before the other? Is that is that a thing? I feel like I've seen calls like that. Um, it, you can lock out one then the other, but the bar can't go up down. So sometimes while trying to lock out, um, while one does lock out before the other, the bar can get shaky up down. But as long as the bar is in one direction after the press command, obviously, right? So. On the way down, one direction, get the press command. On the way up, one direction. You can pause, lock out unevenly, as long as they both end up locking out. Gotcha. Same with the squat, deadlift. A little too much for Danielle Philibert of Canada. 125, she tried to do a two and a half kilo jump. A too much today. 125 Thor Hall's daughter from Iceland, 125. This is provisional bench press gold for Iceland. So it will only be followed by Lawrence. Kristen might take the gold medal off Amanda Lawrence in the bench press event if she hits this. Not every day you're going to start taking gold medals away from Amanda Lawrence. I think we're also seeing a little bit of what we were just talking about before about how the drop off with the bench press can be so fast um, and you really do only have so much in the tank especially depending on how you actually bench press but um yeah man but again that's why practice makes perfect really knowing your attempt selection uh, well and knowing your body well and learning your body well during training can really help you uh, have a successful day on the platform in the third round of benching, so far we've only had two successful lifts. It's a sea of red. Amanda Lawrence missed this on her second, but came up. Can she make the correction? Get the leg drive while keeping her butt in contact with the bench. Still says thank you. <laughs> Just thinking that. <laughs> She's a sweet kid. Nope. I think the butt came up again. We got a review here, a replay, I should say. Unless this appeal is successful, that means Philly back has bench press gold. Next way, oh, yeah. for sure. There's no contesting. If they go to the jury, that's an open and shut case. Yeah, that's tough, man. That's tough. I mean, I, there have been some situations where I found for myself where I've actually, so far, I've never gotten called, uh, knock on wood, on my butt coming up. Um, but I have found that how you choose to transfer energy into the floor with your lower body can really make a big impact, right? So, like, instead of pushing forward, right, almost like you would in a sumo, right, where you're trying to spread the floor, 
if you push directly down into the ground, sometimes that, that's going to translate right into getting the glutes to come up um, off the bench, as opposed to transferring it to the momentum of the press. And so Nita from Belgium opening up with 110 kilos. You have the direction of your power with that leg drive. Can make all the difference. that the Norwegian Isabel opening with 110 kilos Yeah, one of the um, one of the hardest things to anticipate, especially when when you're in training trying to prepare for a competition like this, is how long you will have to hold that bar out over yourself uh, before receiving the star command in the bench press. Yeah. Yeah, it's not something people often train for, and some people go out of their way to hold it a little extra before certain singles when leading into a competition and other people just never do and it'll rattle you absolutely especially when you're a little nervous and things are taking a little longer 115 for Annalena from Sweden Belquist we want right to go make about this one, so we fire all around out with the Slater, Canada, with her body and weight. Bars loaded, 125 kilos, Slater, Canada. Brittany Slater, returning world champion, opening with 125 kilos, just two and a half kilo below her personal best. Two and a half kilos below a personal best. I think we're going to see a personal best here today. Monique Buddy of U.S. Virgin Islands. Monique will be attempting 130 kilos. 40 years old, she's actually a master lifter. Tough for an opener, but still moves well. Sweden's Emily Leach, 135 kilos for her opener. And we're starting to get into some big weights for openers. Put a pin in that because. <laughs> 
We got some surprises coming. Nicely done. Three white lights. Three white lights. Up next, Bonica Brown, 142.5. Now, when you have a world record, if you don't get a total, you lose your world record. That's not really very with a veteran like Bonica Brown. Oh, you lose the world record? Yeah. Any record you make, if you don't get a total, that's gone. Really? Yep. So I, I heard it was the opposite. I heard that you still get the record, but you you obviously you just don't get the total and you don't get really. Man, that's <laughs> spicy. <laughs> so you're defending the record also with your opener. Nicely done. Yeah, won't even be a problem. Especially for some lifters where um, in terms of the overall, if you're not going to finish on the podium, and you know this, the record is is big. You're walking away with, well, I walk, I finished around eighth, but I got a world record along the way. That's a huge caveat, a massive achievement. So in their case, you're really going to defend that record with your opening bench, opening deadlift. You're just going to make sure, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. speaking of, that's a perfect segue, because I had seen that and was waiting till we got to Emily Mergier from France open world record bench press in her opening bench. Hundred and fifty-eight kilos, and Gavin, the open world record, one hundred and fifty-three kilos. Uh, She's not just is, breaking it, dude. This is my She's kind of attempt, man. This is, my con this is my kind of attempt. The audacity of this young lady, the gumption. Show up and show out. This is show it up and show out. RPE ten. Now, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a savage. That's what we're looking at, all right? <laughs> I mean, this is an opening weight. Where are we going to end up? High risk, high reward. Hopefully, she's going to make this look like an opener. Easy money. And that's start. Five kilo over the world record. What is 158 in pounds? Um, you better use your phone, sir. This is a little early in the morning for me to break that. <laughs> My ignorance is showing. I, I didn't show up for a math quiz, love. But I tell you what, so 347, well, actually to be a little over, 348, dude. She's going to bench like 375. Yeah. No, she's a, she's a phenom. That is she's an absolute nuts. phenom. And that's why Bonica Brown is under pressure here today. This is no cakewalk. And Sonita, 115 kilos for her second attempt, five kilo jump. And if Emily Merger pulls off the upset, and let's say she does end up clinching the world championship, keep in mind, she'll be the one going to Sheffield. And that could cost her, mm. having broken these records. However, she's not going to clinch a title unless she grabs all these kilos. So right. you can't fault her. Ooh. Nice recovery. Now, was it down up? Nope, it's good. So this is where, um, you know, like an Amanda Lawrence might be able to win without breaking records. Emily Merger, if she's going to pull off an upset, has to break records. Mm. She can't go in cruise control, win, go to Sheffield, and break them there. Yep. Yeah, very similar to the 93s battle that we had right. a couple days ago. Exactly. Isabel from Norway, 115 kilos, 10 kilo jump. She's got a very smooth bench press. And I'd be interested in um, the biggest bench press in the IPF of all time, I gotta assume. Is likely in the 84 kilo plus class. Mm. Bench is always a hard lift to get to gain ground on too, because 
Like, if you think about it, how much stronger could you truly be than everybody else in that movement? You know, it's such a hard movement to be super... It's such a hard movement to be like a Jonathan Keiko, right? You know? Right. It's so hard to be that far ahead of the competition, but uh, looks like we might be witnessing that here today. And Elena from Sweden, 122.5 for her second attempt, 7.5 kilo jump. 2.5 kilos below her previous personal best. And it's also the, the most volatile of the lifts. Sure, you have to hit depth for squat, and that's true, but in terms of bench press with three different commands and all the possible infractions, and if you miss groove a bench press, very difficult to regain. Very, very difficult to regain. It's a volatile lift. Of the three, what are you most confident in? Uh, hmm. <laughs> before before the other day, you were squat? Probably squat. <laughs> Always squat. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those things, too, where, like, at the end of the day, man, it's life. You just got to pick it up, you know? Just get up. That's it. Yeah. Just get up. And uh, there's just something uh, cathartic about having the weight of the world on your back. You know, it's standing up with it regardless. And standing up with it regardless, exactly. I heard music in the background when you said that. 132.5 for Brittany Slater. That's good. Good, good lift. Yeah, it, it rotates from prep to prep, at least for me and from what I've heard from other from other athletes. It, some preps you have one lift that's going really, really well, two lifts that are kind of like, meh, you know, and then it rotates, you know. Um, but, yeah, but it's, it's always good to have – everybody has their, their, their lift, you know, the one lift that's like, oh, man, I just can't wait to get under the barbell for that. Well, when you're confident enough to load up world records, I guess it was a bit of a loaded question. Right? Obviously, uh, you have confidence in your squat because you're loading up world records for it. Um, Monique, U.S. Virgin Islands, 135 kilos for her second attempt, five kilo jump from her opener. And this will match her previous personal best. I got a feeling Mergier is pretty confident in her bench press. A little too much. Now for you, what is the most volatile lift that when it comes to competitions, things get dicey? Uh, probably deadlift. Um, I don't, I'm not well leveraged for the deadlift. And so my if my technique is not as tight as it can possibly be, it's going to be off, you know. And it's also the, left, the lift that comes at the end of the day. So, you know, if I'm right. tired, if I'm exhausted, whatever, that's going to play into it as well. That's true. There are some variables that come into play. 140 for Emily Leach of Sweden. Five kilo jump. One kilo below her previous personal best. Three lights. Three lights. One fifty on the bar now. Brown, USA. Bar is loaded, 150 kilos, Brown, USA. Bonica Brown, 150 kilos. Now, Bonica took the gold and a world record in the squat event. Mergier likely going to take the gold and already took a world record in the bench. And she has a slightly bigger deadlift. Bonica, ahead in the projected, but needs to keep hitting. If she starts missing, the door of opportunity will swing open. Yeah. Now, what's her what's her deadlift like? It's good. It's at the top of the class. Mergier opening slightly heavier. They're very close in the deadlift. Bonica's got the squat advantage. Mergier's got the bench advantage. It's going to come down to, obviously, Bonica went three for three. If Mergier does the same in her respective discipline that she has the advantage in. By the time we get to deads, 
who can hang on. If someone, and we saw this with Michael Davis, you have a lead, hit your opener. If you miss, you gotta start retaking weight and maybe lose some ground in the deadlift. A change in momentum can come, and all of a sudden, you know, you're winning, 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 and then at the finish line from gold to silver. Yeah. Hundred and sixty three kilos. Miergier. Wow, that moved just like her opener did. One yeah. arm, the right arm in the opener was slightly lagging, but it didn't matter. I think she just presses like that. I saw her arm slightly lag in her opener. I was like, oh wow, okay. Usually you don't have a slightly uneven on opener. That's just how she presses. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very strong. And like we were saying before, like she does have a pretty fast descent, but she sinks, right. you know? Um, and for her, that works because she's able to generate a lot more power from the bottom that way. Probably even build a little bit more tension in the back. Sonita, 117.5. She hit 115 in her second attempt, going up two and a half kilos. The spotters. Yeah, it, it looked like she might have been a little uncomfortable with positioning, like for the day, you know, because even like the unrack looked a little uh, wobbly. Um, coming down looked a little bit, and, and on the other attempts, uh, she also kind of had a little bit of that misread action, so which can be very difficult to come back from. 120 kilos, Isabel from Norway. Jumping five kilo from her second. Oh, that right arm's lagging, but looks like she got it. Three whites, and there's the, uh, you know, you had asked about that earlier. If one can lock than the other. No down up, still clean. You see in the replay here, the bar always moving one direction, just unevenly, but when it's uneven, it's risky for that down up though. Yeah. Sometimes it goes hand in hand, not in that situation. And Elena from Sweden missed 122.5, going up to 125. Elbows flared out pretty early. Sorry, that is no way, no way for Belfast. 135 on the bar now, money for the US Virgin Islands. Bar is loaded. 135 kilos for the US Virgin Islands. Monique will attempt 135 kilos, missed it on her second attempt. Retaking it for a third and final bench press of the day, representing the U.S. Virgin Islands. And I'm wondering, is she going to let the clock wind down? You know, sometimes when you're going to scratch, instead of just saying no thank you, you'll let the clock wind down so your competitors get that extra 60 seconds, well, the 60 seconds to rest. Oh, she's coming out. Well, she's very little time. 23 seconds now. She better get in there and get the start command. 
sometimes it's actually nice to like be running out of time because it just you just go you know <laughs> you ain't thinking about nothing you're just like all right that's it let's get it let's get it no, I, I believe you you showed up a little late this morning <laughs> <laughs> let's see if she gets the start command two oh at the one second oh wow talk about heart come Show on bro i mean shows up late Hits a lift that she missed previously. And three white lights. Get out of here, wow. man. I just, yeah, you know what? Listen, Albert Einstein once said time is relative. All right, I took that one to heart. <laughs> this, is the, this is the guy who's show up at 9, shows up at 9.25, but I got gotcha. you. Time is relative. I'll use that in the future. <laughs> Brittany Schlater, 137.5, going up 5 kilo from her second attempt. She looks good for it. Looking to build a case to get onto that podium. In the projected, she's not far off, Mergier. Bonica, 152.5 kilos. This will match her previous personal best. I believe the total world record is 161, 171 kilos. Maybe 176, I'm gonna pull that up right now, but. Ooh, a little untidy. Now, was that a down up or just an uneven lockout? It looked just like an uneven lockout. So. Three whites. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Last bet press of this session, and it is yet another world open bet press record and bench only record attempt by Amelie Mierget. 166.5 is the number. Mergier, 166.5 kilos. Gavin, what is that in pounds, kind sir? Quick. What is it? 166.5? Yes, sir. On the line. Come on. Is a kilos. Looking at about 367 pounds. Oh, my goodness. The horsepower in this young lady. Be nervous on the liftoff for this. She's had three bench attempts, all of them world records, world record attempts, anyways. Must not get ahead of myself. Can she break it for the third time today? Oh, no. And that is some kilos she could have used for her total, but nonetheless finishes with an easy gold medal in the bench press event, two times breaking the world record. And I had said uh, the world record total 
was 671 kilos. It's actually 671.5. Bonica might be pacing herself for that. Take a look at the scoreboard here. Bonica takes the silver medal with 152.5. And Leach with 145 kilos takes the bronze in the bench press event. But in the bigger picture here, we got a bit of a battle coming on the podium. It's still too early. We've seen this happen before. Favorites start missing and upsets start happening. Don't miss this action. We will return in 10 minutes.
Welcome back to the IPF World Championships here live in Sun City, South Africa, where we have a battle in the 84 kilo class. Return of the Queen, Amanda Lawrence, had a phenomenal squat session going three for three in a bit of an untidy bench press session. Moving into the deadlifts now. And there is a look at the bench presses where Daniel Philibert of Canada clinching the gold with a 122.5. Four holes daughter of Iceland with a 120. And Amanda Lawrence also with a 120 but missing out on body weight, so settling for the bronze. And we look at the subtotals. Now, obviously, Amanda Lawrence well in the lead, but she's looking at the bigger picture and wants that best lifter award where she would be the only one to win three, making history. She's in contention to unseat Turbo Tiff of France in the 47 kilo class. Turbo Tiff having competed on the first day, Amanda Lawrence competing on the last day, book ending. A phenomenal world championship so far. What do you think, Gavin? I mean, I'd agree. I think it is a phenomenal world championship so far. The one thing I will say, though, is in terms of the subtotal, 15 kg is not a big difference between 362.5 and 350 for first and second place as of right now. Um, that is easily something that can be loaded on a barbell, you know. So let's let's just wait and see, okay? I mean, I, I know I know we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but we got to wait and see. You're right. No, you're 100% right. Look at Amanda Lawrence has the bigger deadlift, but she's got to get those, you know, got to get a green on the scorecard and make sure it doesn't turn red on herself. Upsets in sports happen all the time. Karina, U.S. Virgin Islands, coming out to 155. Failed to get a bench press in, but she is allowed to deadlift. It just won't contribute towards the total, nor contribute any points for USVI Nationals, national team. Yeah, see, that was the, the type of opener selection we needed on the other team attempts. Schreiner of Germany, 197.5 for opening bench of the day, or sorry, deadlift of the day. that and solidifies her total now that her total is guaranteed she can start taking big jumps and for those of you who don't know uh, who are watching um, specifically on an illegal pl uh, platform at the world stage gravitation the gravitational force and gravitational pull it, it's it's about 2x okay so whatever you see on the bar just double it because um, that's how it feels. And so these lifters are uh, they are contending with, with the, the weight of the earth, okay? Not just the weight of the bar. And Danielle Philibert of Canada, 200 kilos, makes easy work of that. Good lift, here we have Alex, the Philibert, 215 to the bar now, Kristen, for Alsdorf here, Iceland, Luger and Almeida, get ready. Kristen from Iceland, 215 kilos. Awesome. 
keep your feet between those claws up there. Excellent. If she's going to pull off an upset, she needs to hit this and start making big jumps. And she needs Amanda Lawrence to start faltering. Wow. Well, she did her part. Very smooth. It's as smooth as you can ask for. Tammy of Great Britain. 215 kilos stays on the bar for her opening deadlift. And each of these ladies just solidifying their totals. A pull like that makes you think conventional is cheating. I can tell you that. <laughs> Almeida representing Brazil. 220 kilos. The weights are on the platform. And thus far, all the ladies have hit their openers. Sabrina Moore, part of the coaching staff of Great Britain, several time oh, national champion and kilos. world's competitor herself. And Azariah comes out, 220 kilos for her opening deadlift. And Amanda Lawrence coming out for 237.5 kilos. Now, you had predicted Thorhole's daughter is going to defeat her. <laughs> you know, that's a very um, bold statement you made there. <laughs> I'm glad that you're speaking for me. Uh, I, don't, okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I got your words. <laughs> Did I misquote you? <laughs> I might have misunderstood. Uh, hard of hearing, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See how she handles this weight. I'm expecting she's going to smoke it. She does Jeez. easily. That's a 600 kilo total. All the red team. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. Take a little look at the standings. Obviously, early days, only openers, but Amanda Lawrence got a decent spread. And there's a look at the totals now. And Amanda Lawrence could pretty much with a 35 kilo spread. Doesn't need to take major jumps. We can grab our calculators and she might just try to defeat Turbo Tiff to take the best lifter and become the first to hit three best lifter awards at an IPF World Championships. Of 
Arena, 172.5. She hit 155 in her opener. And that's tough. You know, I was gonna say, when you had a rough day in the bench event, and by rough, I mean bombed out, it'd be nice to get some wins on your belt in the deadlift to turn this around. Yeah. It really can be defeating, though, to have a day not go the way that you had planned. Um, but this is when you, you have to trust yourself, man. You have to dig deep and, uh, and leave it all on the platform. And um, yeah, and it, you know, sometimes it's even tough to do that in this atmosphere. Um, but that, that's, that's just part of being an athlete, and, uh, and it's something that comes with the maturity of, of being an athlete, right? And so over time that you develop, it's a skill you develop. And that said, I think that she can absolutely dig deep and pull, um, but she's really going to have to get amped up for this next one if she wants to make that on her third. I'm going to have to agree with you, sir. And 207.5 for Schreiner of Germany in her second attempt, 10 kilo jump from her opener. So, 627.5 kilos as a total for Amanda Lawrence will defeat Turbo Tiff. World record is 636.5 by Amanda Lawrence, so that's well within her means to create history. Danielle Philibert from Canada, 210. Easy work of that. And Tammy from Great Britain, 227.5, being loaded for a second attempt. A sizable 12 and a half kilo jump, two and a half kilo below her previous personal best. It's work, but it's honest work. How many kilos do you think she has in her, Gavin? Um, you know, I'm gonna say I think she has, at, I think it tops a five more. Um, however, however, deadlift is, is an interesting, is one of the interesting disciplines because ultimately if you get amped up enough, it, it's almost like, uh, you ever see like the, the crazy stories of the mother that lifts a car off her child, right? Like. That's the kind of thing that right. you can do in the deadlift, right? If you if you enter that void, if you get in that zone. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if she can load up a little bit more than five kg, but I would go up two and a half to five. 230 kilos, Kristen of Iceland, 15 kilo jump, five kilo personal best. Smoked it. Easy work. Marina Almeida, 232.5 kilos, 12 and a half kilos up from her opener, and we hear her coming already. You can hear the war cries. 
in the wings as she waits for the bars loaded announcement. And they did a study and yelling naturally rises the adrenaline which assists lifting and that is a scientific fact. Do you do that, Gavin? Um, in my head, in my head I do. Sometimes, sometimes I let it out a little bit, but uh, I don't know, I'm more of like um, a, a, a calm rage, you know, kind of guy. But, oh, I was just, oh, just about to say it was gonna work for her, but um, that was close. But yeah, no, I, uh, it's, it's weird. I like to be very, very like condensed, very centered, but there are times when I just kind of go off a little bit. Um, but you know what it is though? The setting here sometimes is tough for me to do that um, and, and kind of and get amped up like that because of the, the, it almost feels royal here. Yeah, I mean, some people have no, no qualms about, <laughs> despite the, the vibes here, hitting the platform, yelling, hooting, hollering, asking for the crowd to yell back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, on, on big attempts, we're gonna get the crowd rowdy. I mean, yeah. you have to. Wait until Jesus Olivares takes the platform later today. If you like Rowdy. Yeah. Azarea from Great Britain, three, or sorry, 235. Yeah. Yeah. And in the words of a former 83 kg world champion, this ain't a chess match, my this friend. This is not a chess match. If it was, I would not be commentating, I promise you. <laughs> No, Jesus Alvarez, if you guys haven't seen him before, will squat around 1,000 pounds and rally the crowd behind him. Amanda Lawrence, 252.5. The queen returns, looking to make a statement, grab another best lifter award. And tell everybody else, I'll see you in Sheffield when I secure the bag. good and refresh my memory because I forget how much money do we bet that Amanda Lawrence is going to win this it was significant I remember that uh well yeah I mean you know we were talking a couple million right so it was uh but 3.2 down the other day buddy 3.2 million right 172.5 now Gavin Karina obviously failed to get a bench press in 172.5 looked like it might be failure due to strength. You've missed your second. Went up in weight, actually. Come out and hit in your third. How do you rally yourself? Um, you burn your ships, man. You burn your ships. You attack the island, and you've got no plan B. You have to go all in and give everything you have into it. And you owe it to yourself to do that. So if she can do that, she'll get this. Yup, come on, come oh, wow. on, come on. Yep, oh yep, my yep, goodness. Yup, 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 yup. I don't know if she locked her shoulders I don't back. Know if she it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's heartbreaking. If we watch the replay, they're not going to give it to you just because they want you to have a good day. I don't know if she locked her shoulders back. She looks like she might have failed to bring her shoulders back here quite enough. And that's tough. But you don't get sympathy at the IPF no. World Championships. That you do not. That you definitely do not. Doesn't but still a very, a very valiant effort, a very strong fight. And um, it just goes to show, 
the power of the mind is no joke, my friend. Yeah, no, impressive nonetheless. That was a moral victory. If that was in the gym, passes every day. As a solid gym lift. She could be proud that she left it all on the platform and showed a lot of grit, a lot of heart. 210 kilos for Schreiner of Germany. Previous deadlift personal best was 203, so that's likely a German record. Nice to Danielle Philibert, 215 kilos. Third and final pulls of the day for these ladies. Done. Three for three in the bench. Or deadlift, sorry. Ends off her day with a 540 kilo total. Sitting currently in bronze medal position. Few more deadlifts to go. And there will be some change attempts in an attempt to possibly take. Jockey around for podium position. I would assume right now, Philibert is still sitting in bronze medal position. No one pulling to overtake her. They might change attempts for individual medals in the deadlift world. Tammy, 232.5 kilos. This will move her in position for bronze of deadlift temporarily. comes <laughs> it's incredible I, so love that. I, I, I I got chills right now these war cries in the back 235 kilos for Almeida Brazil missed 232.5 be just intensity that she needs. Oh, 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 oh no. Almost had it. I'm sorry, that is no That's one of the no unfortunate no things about idea. sumo too is like no matter how intense you get, if your positioning um, falls out of place, Next then unfortunately there's really not much you can do. And so you can see there the bar totally this pitches her forward and she just she just has no strength underneath, right? Um, and it just as soon as it gets off that that center line it's it's really hard to recover from. Um, yeah, but that's that's kind of also part of the sport, right? It's, it's one of the things that makes it so so unique and so interesting. Kristen Thorhol's daughter from Iceland, 240 kilos for her third and final deadlift. She hits this, she'll end off with a 590 kilos total.
A silver medal isn't really up for grabs by anybody else, but this will move her in the deadlift event from bronze to silver. Azariah, 245 kilos loaded on the bar. This will move her into the bronze medal position in total. Silver in the deadlifts. She's looking to bump off Canada's Danielle Philibert from the podium. 10 kilo jump, just shy of the biggest deadlift of all time in Britain. In just two years competing, she could medal at the IPF World Championships. A little too much. But it was a proper That's move to make. Like, she had an opportunity to get on the podium. You might as well load up. Yeah, I mean, you're here, man. This is what we're here for. Now, Amanda Lawrence, 263 kilos being loaded. This is a world record deadlift, and she will win on points best lifter by 0.03. It's also the biggest deadlift ever in the IPF. Unequipped, raw, obviously. She will take that from Jessica Bittner, who earlier this week had the biggest deadlift of all time. Does that mean Turbo Tiff? This is a little bit surprising. Yeah, Turbo Tiff has actually now taken best lifter, and Amanda Lawrence will not take the record for the most best lifters. Wow, that's a little bit surprising, actually, if, if I'm honest. It is, but life favors the bold, so. Moving on to the 84 plus. And 207.5 and Elena from Sweden. Three white lights. Next round of our 220 kilos is about Mackin Point, Norway. Bar is loaded, 220 kilos, Mackin Point, Norway. 220 kilos for Isabel of Norway. As soon as she hits this, she solidifies her total. We have a couple ladies here that have broken world records, and as we said previously, you need a total a for that world lift. record to stand. Next, 
Monique Bodie, U.S. Virgin Islands, 220, stays on the bar for her opening deadlift. And I'm told this is a master's world record total once she hits this. Yeah, that was really strong. I mean, especially considering the fact that she, she doesn't even wear a belt for this. This is true. Shades of Joy Nemani, who won the 57 kilo world championships in dramatic fashion when Jacques up from France gave her the scare of her life and pushed her to the brink in a sensational battle. Speaking of battles, Bonica Brown, if she hits 227.5, can start to position herself to convince the French team, have your lifter focus on the silver. The gold is mine. Uh-oh. That was rather easy. Three white lights, good left to Brown. Next light on the ball. Speaking of, here is Mierge. 230 kilos. Starting to think the gap is widening a little bit here. And Mierge needs to think about silver medal and leech from Sweden. Virgin Islands coach to the Pinkney Secretary's desk, please. Yeah. Two to one, good lift, good lift for Mierge, 240 on the bar now, Sydney Belgium, Schneider and Leach get ready. US Virgin Islands coach to the Pinkney Secretary's desk, please, we would like to clarify your attempt. Sonita from oh, Belgium, sorry, 240 two kilos. kilos. Sonita Moore, Belgium. Looking to solidify her total as well. Crazy for Sunita. Two forty on the bar now. Brittany Schneider, Canada. Bar is loaded. Prepare Leach and Belfast. Schneider of Canada. Two forty. Brittany Schneider of Canada. Also opening with two hundred forty kilos. Makes easy work of it. Emily Leach from Sweden. Yeah. Biggest deadlift opener of the day, 242.5 kilos. And she is looking to Make her claim for a possible silver medal. Bonica likely too far now. But a podium placement looks likely. What color will that medal be? Wow. That's a good 
Quick look at the scoreboard for the deadlift. It's still early days, but Leach with the biggest pull thus far. And Gavin, if we look at Bonica Brown, projected 668.5 if she hits her second, which she likely will. World record is 671.5. Do you think she'll be like Taylor Atwood and put something for her third to keep her below that and leave it for Sheffield? Uh, most likely. I, I mean, I would imagine so. Although she may also just want to chip it, you know, by a very, very incremental amount, something that is nominal, but... Um, still lets her walk away from this feeling like she didn't just come and walk through. You know, she, she really did set a, a, a new standard. And Elena, successful with her second attempt. You might be right, only time will tell. Two hundred thirty kilos awaits Monique, U.S. Virgin Islands. 10 kilo jump, 10 kilos below her previous personal best. Breaks her own Masters record total. And Isabel, uh, or Isabel from Norway. 235 kilos for a second attempt, 15 kilo jump from her opener. Knees <laughs> shaking a little, That's locks good. it out. No lift. No lift. No lift. Two three seven point five with Anna and Amy Nierge of France, followed by Brown and Leach. Her knees don't look like they fully locked. Shaking. And here comes Nierge. Two hundred thirty seven point five kilos for her second attempt. Two and a half kilos below her previous personal best. Oh, I don't know, Gavin. I don't know if she can get her shoulders back. That's down up. No. Some heaving. And it looks like she just kind of ran out of gas. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Also, too, like right there, kind of looks like she slowly starts to hitch right there. And that's, you know, that was it. Bonica Brown. 242.5 kilos. The queen has returned and it looks fairly safe to say the crown is hers. How far does she want to take her total today? That'll put her up to 668.5 kilos. Sweden's Emily Leach, 250 kilos. Nice 
nicely done. I love the uh, the rolling to start the deadlift. That reminds me of the uh, the strong man competition. That's right. And, uh, man, you can't help but think of Half Thor and Eddie Hall, baby. It helps create a little momentum. Obviously, in the deadlifts, you have to break inertia to get that thing going. And it helps to get a little momentum as it rolls towards you. If you time it well, 252.5 by Sonita from Belgium. She'll finish off the podium overall, but she's likely going to grab a medal in the deadlifts. Let's see how this moves, though. Tough work and failed to lock it out. That's a shame. That is no lift. No lift for all. So it remains on the bar. Last lift in round two. This is Brittany Schleicher, Canada. To be followed by Bobby and Miege in round three. Bar is loaded. 252.5 kilos. Brittany Schleicher. 252.5 kilos being loaded for Brittany Schleicher of Canada. 12 and a half kilo jump from her opener. Couldn't hang on to it at the grip. That's a shame, so close, but no way. No way for Schleicher. Round three. 235 on our lead. We're US into the Islands. final attempts. You can see the scoreboard here. Leach has the lead. Bonica Brown, and this is for deadlifts only. Bonica Brown in second, and Sonoda in third for the deadlift event. But overall, Bonica looks like she'll be pulling and she could change her final attempt for a new total world record by two kilo. Yeah, and that's a fair amount to increase it, to be honest with you, because that's, you know, that's something that you could probably easily beat um, however many months from now, you know, when the Sheffield happens in March. So you still kind of get to, se to secure something that's special to you. You feel like you came and you did something, uh, but you don't mess up your, uh, your plans for the Sheffield. And Monique Bodie, U.S. Virgin Islands, 235 kilos. Third and final pull. Fight to lock that out. Two to one, I'm afraid that is no lift, no lift for Bobby. She has the total record, but not the deadlift record. No, no lift, lift though. Remains on the bar and Elena Belfast, Sweden. So, supporting, as well as lockout issues, trying to lock those knees and get the shoulders back. 235 kilos by Annalena from Sweden. Kilos for oh, referee, Emily Mierge. Miss 237 and a half, opting to go out anyways, to go up anyways, because she wants to exchange her bronze medal for silver with Leach of Sweden. This will temporarily do that if she hits this. 
with Leach still the pull. Trying to apply pressure to Team Sweden. Mierge has a medal. What color will it be? I don't think she couldn't get her shoulders back though. That's all right. It's tough. Definitely a valiant effort. 2.2.5 on the bow now, Isabel Knackard, Norway. Deadlift silver potentially if she gets this one. And Isabel from Norway, loading up 242.5 despite missing 235, would put her in a position for bronze in the deadlift, oh, sorry, silver in the deadlift. And we haven't seen a single successful final deadlift. Gavin, these ladies are pushing themselves to the limit. That's what this competition is all about, pushing yourself to the limit and uh, finding new ways to become better. Trying to get better today, Isabel. There it is. There it is. Did she? Was that knee shaking or was it locked? Did they like the lock? I don't know, man. Look good to me, to be honest, but I am not an expert. That is for sure. I am not an expert. So your knees can't be shaken. Well, they're not locked. So the knees shaking, but it, it does. She needs to have her knees locked. Um, that's why sometimes that's probably why she's wearing knee sleeves. Knee sleeves don't really greatly benefit the deadlift. But if it's ever locking of the knees, the situation, oftentimes the lifter will come out with knee sleeves <laughs> to cover their oh, knees. Is that, is that really That's another trick of the trick. You're learning here again. Interesting. The new grip on squat, knee sleeves over the wow. knees. Although it can catch the gnarling if you're pulling sumo. So if someone's pulling sumo and they're wearing knee sleeves, they're, you know they're really trying to cover their knees. Yeah. So that's interesting though, because if people know that going in, if judges know that going in, then that, they're going to be looking for that. They're nobody's fool. Bonica Brown, 247.5. New world record total. Oh. I don't know if there's down up or just Let's a little wobble nice. that wasn't all the way down up. It's good. It's good. Yeah, your body can wobble. It's the barbell that has to go up down as a whole. Yeah, her body was wobbling. Side to side is okay, but the overall barbell can't go down up. And Sonita from Belgium, 252.5 kilos. If she hits this and she misses it on the second, she'll get a gold medal in the deadlift event. Listen to that crowd, Gavin. You wanted some excitement. Is that loud enough for you, sir? I'm going to be honest with you. This is, this is what we need every single lift. This is it, baby. Final deadlift of the day. Got to dig deep, make it happen. If she hits this, expect the crowd to go crazy. Yep, yep. Uh oh, yep. the knee lock yep. early. Was it going to happen? And we have not a single final attempt successful. In the 84 no. plus. No. In the final attempts here. Oh, wow. Wait, so why, why did I think that Bonica Brown had her... Because you, you wanted that to be the case, sir. No, oh, didn't it get two whites? <laughs> no, sir. Wow. Oh, it's overturned. That, see, okay. You were right, you know I was what? wrong. Get, get, honestly, man, I'm, you're you fired. Why is everyone said, speaking confidence, not in facts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Uh, Look, you get in your eyes, you and know, don't you? <laughs> you are something else, man. Truly. Our TV producers jumping, jumping in that. They'll never miss an opportunity to, to say I was wrong. 
Yeah, well, you know, they're going to get tired of it pretty soon because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two instruments in this competition. Both of these ladies are going for. 260.5 kilos. This is the world record deadlift attempt by returning world champion Brittany Slater. She might be losing her title, but if she walks away with a deadlift world record and an, obviously a gold medal in the deadlift and a bronze overall, that's a pretty good day nonetheless. It was worth it though, um, you know, to get on the podium overall. This is 272.5 kilos. This is 600 pounds, Gavin. It's unreal. unreal. And will be the biggest deadlift in IPF history. That's true. It will be. Oh, my goodness. The first ever 600-pound deadlift in the women's classic division. And that, that's not just any number. 600 is like 600, a, the that, first ever. You're about number. to watch it. Oh, man. Can Emily Leach do it? It's a big jump from 250. Let's go, baby. This is a dramatic way to end this session. Will history be made? Oh, whoa! Oh. It was a great try. Got 600 pounds to her knees in a phenomenal effort. But, Gavin, we have a sea of red as these women kept pushing for, to make history in world record attempt at the world record attempt. A look at the scoreboard here. Emily Leach finishes with the gold in the deadlift event. Bonica Brown takes silver. And Sonita takes bronze on body weight over Canada's Brittany Schlater, who also pulled 240 kilos. Yep. And the storyline, obviously, Bonica Brown, the returning GOAT of the 84 plus, reclaims her title with a 668.5 kilo total. Emily Leach of Sweden with a phenomenal day and a massive 601 pound final attempt, 272.5 kilos. Had the crowd on their feet, finishing in silver medal with 647.5 kilos. And Emily Mergier with a phenomenal bench press session, broke the world record and leaves with a bronze medal overall. World records fell, action, changing the momentum. Brittany Schlater off the podium at fourth, but a great day herself. Gavin, what a session. What a session indeed, man. What a session indeed. But this is just the start because we've got another great session coming up, and I am beyond excited for it. Jesus Oliveras is going to crush it. Jesus Oliveras, the alpha predator in the IPF. Will he squat 1,000 pounds? Make sure you join us later to find out. But up next is the medal ceremony from Ryan Lapidat and Gavin Aiden. Until next time.
Okay, and it is now time to present the medals for the individual lifts. 84 kilo ladies first. So in bronze medal position on the squat with 202.5 kilos from Canada, Danielle Philibert. Taking squat silver with 230 kilos from Iceland, Kristen Kohlhausdottir. And squat gold with 242.5 kilos goes to the USA's Amanda Lawrence. Whoa, Danica. Easy time, Well done, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. And now to bench press. In bench press bronze with 120 kilos from the United States, Amanda Lawrence. Bench press silver also with 120 kilos from Iceland. Kristin Kolausdottir. And bench press gold with 122.5, a really close bench press competition, goes to Canada's Danielle Philippe. Great job, ladies. A real pleasure to watch. Thank you. And now to deadlifts. Deadlift bronze with 230 kilos goes to Iceland's Kristen Thorhausdottir. Bench, uh, deadlift, it's been a long week. Deadlift silver with 235 kilos goes to Great Britain's Ziana Azara. Deadlift gold with 252.5 goes to the USA's Amanda Lawrence. Thank you. Well done, ladies. Thank you. And now it is time to crown the world champion and announce the medals for the overall. In bronze medal position with 540 kilos from Canada is Danielle Philibert. Still the level overall with 580 kilos total from Iceland, Kristin Thorhausdottir. <laughs> and your new 84 kilo open world champion with 615 kilos total from the United States of America, Amanda Lawrence. Amanda also receives the King Protea, the flower of South Africa. Oh wow, that's so pretty, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the National Anthem of the United States of America.
Great job, ladies. Everyone got their photos? Smile. Okay, all good. Thank you. And now, it is time to present the medals for the super heavyweight category, the 84 plus. Squat first. And again, really close between bronze and silver. Bronze with 252.5 kilos goes to Sweden's Anna Lena Belkvist. Squat silver with 252.5 kilos goes to Sweden's Emily Leach. And squat gold, 273.5 for a new world record, goes to USA's Bonica Brown. Well done, ladies, thank you. And now to the bench press. Bench press bronze with 145 kilos goes to Sweden's Emily Leach. Bench press silver with 152.5 goes to the USA's Panika Brown. There's your moment. A bench press gold and a new world wealth. Two cracks at the world record, actually, with 163 kilos goes to Francis Amiri Mierzi. Great job, ladies. Thank you. And now to the deadlift. Deadlift bronze with 240 kilos goes to Belgium's Sunita Moore. And if there was a prize for most supporters, she'd get that too, I tell you. Deadlift Silver with 242.5 goes to the USA's Bonica Brown. And Deadlift Gold with a massive 250 kilos goes to Sweden's Emily Leach. Great job, ladies. Great job. Thank you. And it is now time to crown the new world champion and award the medals for overall. In bronze medal position with 638 kilos from France, Amélie Miergé! <laughs> overall silver with 647.5 kilos goes to Sweden's Emily Leach! <laughs> and your new 84 kilo plus world champion with 668.5 kilos in the USA, Bonica Brown! <laughs> also receives the King Protea of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of the United States of America.
Thank you, ladies. Great competition. Great competition. Everyone got their photos? Good. Thank you, ladies. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please join me in giving these ladies a round of applause as they follow Susan, the technical controller, off the platform. Follow Susan. Thank <laughs> you.